This is the Department of Environmental Quality's Lead Testing in School and Child Care Drinking Water Programs tutorial video for how to fill out a chain of custody. First, we will cover what a chain of custody is and its purpose. A chain of custody is a legal document that is a summary of the sampling information being submitted to the State Environmental Laboratory. In any situation where you are collecting samples, maintaining integrity is crucial. The chain of custody is a key component for that integrity by outlining who collected the samples, what was collected, when it was collected, and where. The chain of custody you received in your sample kit is very specific to your LWSC sampling project. This is not like a typical chain of custody used by DEQ customers where the form is blank. There will already be sections completed in order to make the sampling process more streamlined and easier for you. The individual who will be collecting the samples will be the one required to fill in the remainder of the chain of custody. These completed sections are based on the data you provided in your water outlet inventory form. This information establishes the chain of custody site information, which is your sample location. This sample location ID will be found on your chain of custody and sample bottle IDs. The remainder of the sample location ID will be based on timing sequence of collection. The first collection at the tap will be the primary sample. The second collection will be the flushed sample. Refer back to your water outlet inventory form for any references. Do not lose this document or use another form. If you need a replacement form, call 405 Seven zero two one zero zero zero. Once you receive the sampling kit from DEQ, ensure all supplies were included. A chain of custody, two bottles per sample location, and one unique sample label per bottle. The sample labels for the bottles have a unique ID that the DEQ has issued. This ID corresponds to the sample ID on the chain of custody. When collecting a sample, this will help ensure and streamline that the date and time will be recorded for the correct sample. Continue to ensure all labels and IDs correspond with the correct sample location time until all sites have been collected. Once all samples have been completed, fill out the remainder of the chain of custody. Ensure to include the name of the individual who collected the samples and the collector's phone number. At the bottom of the page, the collector must relinquish samples over to the State Environmental Laboratory by providing their name, signature, and date. Note the red portions shown are to be filled out by the State Environmental Laboratory employees only. If the sampler will not be the individual to directly release samples to the laboratory, they must relinquish to the individual who will. Then, that individual will sign with date and time upon arriving at the laboratory. If protocol is not followed, samples may be subject to rejection. This includes sample label IDs did not match the IDs on the chain of custody, sample labels are missing, Samples arrive without a chain of custody. Writing is illegible.
or chain of custody is incomplete. For any questions or assistance, email us at lwsc at deq.ok.gov or call us at 1-800-522-0206.